Now, the other big thing that uh, the liberals were yelling at me about the past couple weeks is the phrase, whataboutism. And I don't know if you're familiar with a whataboutism, but it's when somebody brings up a point or a criticism and then you reflect or come back with, well, what about this? I'll give, now, generally it's then the liberals that they will scream, that's a whataboutism, that's irrelevant, I don't have to answer that, you can't answer the question without just bringing up other stuff about other people. Now, personally, I disagree. I'm not saying that a whataboutism doesn't exist, but I often feel like liberals use that as some sort of deflection to not have to address their own hypocrisy. Because if it truly is a whataboutism, like the liberals say, where you're bringing up just something totally unrelated to distract the point and derail the conversation, then those liberals should be able to articulate the difference between what the two examples that you have just presented to them. And oftentimes they can't, which I think is the point of the person who brings up the whataboutism. That is generally the point that they are trying to get across. At least it is when I personally use those type of arguments or ask people those question follow-up questions in conversation because what I'm trying to do what the point of asking that question is is to point out their hypocrisy for example the one the example that I used talking to somebody earlier in the week was if one of the things that I often heard about why Donald Trump was such a terrible person is because kids in cages. They were kids. He was putting kids in cages. So when you say, well, what about the fact that Barack Obama also put kids in cages and was actually, in fact, the person who built the cages to begin with? Then they'll be like, that's a whataboutism. We're not talking about Obama. We're talking about Trump. And then they'll be like, You're, but a what about them? That's bringing up two unrelated things. Like, that's not unrelated things. Those are two very related things. And all I'm asking with that question is, why is one person who does it, literally Hitler, the worst person on earth, is, you are uh, beyond moral um, redemption if you like this person, for this reason of kids in cages, even though the person that you were offering up as an acceptable alternative did the exact same thing. So why is it a moral crime for one and not for the other? Now, they'll try to tell you that when you're doing a whataboutism, it's unrelated. And there's actually, I believe, already a term for that logical fallacy where you bring up something unrelated to distract or derail the conversation and I think that is called a red herring so we don't that's when they try to say a what about is bringing up something unrelated to, no that's a red herring what a what about is if used correctly is bringing up a very related topic to ask to point out that that person who is accusing you of being a bad person for agreeing with so and so or doing whatever you're pointing out that that person is actually being a hypocrite and not holding themselves up to their same standards. So, I find the um, deflection of the whataboutism very annoying, but I was told somebody that I was full of shit and I obviously didn't know what it meant and figured explaining it to that person would be a lost cause. But I did want to get that off my chest and clarify what I see the difference between those being.